everyone, it's me again. I just wanted to do a video here. Uh, I've gotten a few emails from people wanting to know how to install the eSATA cable inside the 2009 Mac Pro. So here we have a single port eSATA cable, it's about 12 inches long, reaches from the back of the computer to the front and we're, I'm going to show you how to throw that in there fairly quickly within a couple minutes here. Okay. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Phillips, zero, number zero, Phillips screwdriver, and your fingers, that's about it. So, end result, we should be able to use an external eSATA hard drive with uh, our setup here. So, first things first, you want to ground yourself, you want to make sure that you have a solid surface to work on, and that you're not going to bump into anything or knock anything over when doing this. Next step is you want to find the two thumb screws that hold on the back plates. Uh, let's see if I can get in here and show you. That thumb screw there and that thumb screw there. So just want to unplug those that out and now that will allow you access to take out the back panel so take that out now you want to do this on the second slot up above your video card main reason being is because the bottom slot is, is a double high slot which will allow you a high graphics card like the ATI that goes in here that takes up two slots so this way you're not interfering with any of the PCI Express slots situated on the board so we're not interfering with any of that we have the plate out we have the cable in our hands the next step is to take the fan out now I'm just gonna move the camera here See if we can get some light. And then I kind of show you what's going on. So those two those two screws that are currently holding the fan on need to come out. But before we start unscrewing all that, what I like to do is zoom out here. Take out the hard drives. So to take out the hard drives, very simple, as you see in the other videos. Just slide them out like so. And then you have full access to your fan. Now, what you want to do is you'll take your, your Phillips screwdriver and start attacking those screws gently. <laughs> okay. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. And I'll get in there and take those screws out. Okay. So once those are out, now we can access the fan by, take out the fan by slotting it back, lifting it up, and taking it out simple as that. That was actually pretty easy. So, what you want to what you're going to want to do next is locate your, your SATA connection on the board. And there you go. Top one's for your optical drive, and your bottom one is your spare one if you don't have a secondary drive going on up top. So, you're going to want to yank that out. You see there? Just have the open port. Okay. You can also use that port to install 
a fifth hard drive on your secondary CD-ROM drive slot area up here. If you don't have an optical drive in there, you can throw a hard drive in there with some brackets and install your fifth hard drive. Uh, I might do that for another video. We'll see where I'm going to go with my optical drives here. <clears throat> okay, so next step is throwing in the eSATA connector port. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to want to do is throw that in like so. Push that in there and make sure it's secured. So now you have a loose cable and your port's now installed. Next step here is to put the thumb screws back in to hold that plate on. But what I'm going to do just quickly get this cable installed to show you how to install it and I'm going to put everything back together again after that. So back out a little bit here. You're gonna see that see you can see that metal bar right there. That metal bar is you're gonna throw your ESAT cable behind that bar. Like so. And then make sure it's pushed all the way to the right or else your fan will not go in properly. So, just like so, it sits back there. You can see that. Okay, and then, quite simply, find your ESATA port cable connector right here and connect it. Like so. Okay, you want to make sure that's in there solid. And then you want to lay down your cable flat against the board so you can install the fan again and not have to worry about the cable bunching up. Okay, that's pretty much it. Cable's installed, everything's in there tightly. Metal retaining bars now over to the right. And the next step is to put the fan in. Two pegs right there, which will nicely fit to those two holes and then line up and slide in. And you can see where your power is coming from. And you can see where that has to line up right there. Mm. It's fairly simple. I mean, you'll figure it out once you pull it apart. Pops in just like so. And throw those screws back in. Just like that. See, your screws are right there. So now your fan's not going anywhere. And then you also put your hard drives back in. God, I love these Macs. I've been working on PCs for 18 years and all of a sudden one day I realize I want a Mac and it's never I've never gone back since. Okay. So we have our cable. Been nice and simple, and then we throw thumb screws back in. Make sure those are secure. And there you go. You have now just installed your eSATA cable connector on the back of your Mac Pro. There you go. 
So that's how quickly and easily it is to install an eSATA port onto your 2009 Mac Pro. The last thing you have to do is to try it out and see if it works with your hard drive. So I look forward to uh, hearing your comments. Uh, you can send them to info at logicalproductions.ca or just hit me up on YouTube, Mac User Logic. Peace.